athlete. Athletic. I'm jumping for my dreams. I'm jumping for my dreams. The athlete. The athlete. The athlete. Also have the very own Brian Gardner, assistant coach at uh, Brian and Stratton College. Also, Brian, you are a pillar in the community when it comes to youth basketball, all levels of basketball. You have a we'll talk about you at halftime. We interview about your corporation. You got Heartbeat Inc. working with youth and also working with uh, basketball players on and off the court. Big time half, big time interview. We'll have coming up at halftime. But for the keys to this game, Jose, you see. Watch the play a couple times. What do you think Washington has to do um, in this game? Well, I, I think the thing with Washington is um, with the addition of Trey, it puts everybody else into position, into their natural position. So I think most keys to every game when it comes to the playoffs is uh, controlling the 50-50 balls, con controlling rebounds, getting to the free throw line, and then uh, – and then uh, who can who can who can take charges? Who can do all the little things that's not accounted for on the stat sheet? If if they do that, they'll win. If not, Tulsa West may have an opportunity to win. But the thing with Tulsa is they're young. So if Washington don't take it to them early, and if they're not intimidated early, they'll give them chance and they'll give themselves an opportunity to win. And Brian, for Tulsa West, they're coming here into Washington uh, as the underdogs. As you being a coach, what are you telling this your team um, in games like this when it's a one to go home? We have nothing to lose. Leave it on the floor. We had a big victory last night, so let's turn it into another victory tonight. Like Jose said, we need to get the 50-50 balls, the loose balls, box out on every shot, defend, do what it takes to um, – pull out a victory here, especially with the coach Mark being an old Washington High School alumni player. Um, he's sort of amped coming in. If his players take his demeanor tonight, you never know what will happen. All right, so we start five from Milwaukee, Washington. Goes like this. Uh, from Milwaukee, Washington, Deontay Long, 6'5", senior. Michael Foster Jr., player of the year in the city conference, 6'9", a sophomore. Anthony White, the freshman, 6'6", six, six guard. Deontay Martin, <laughs> If Tosa West can hit some early to give them confidence to stay in this game. <laughs> talent, talent, especially on the Washington side. What's the biggest adjustment for a coach like Freddie Riley, who's been there to state championship last year and final four the year before, and getting this team to play together uh, during playoff time? Well, they have to understand that it's one common goal. Once they get a, a concept and understand that it's one common goal, then we can come together to get done what needs to be done. I think the taste of losing last year, that'll bring them, bring them together. The, everything will come together, and those guys will be okay eventually. Like, like uh, Jose was saying, if Tulsa West gets off and hits a couple shots here early, it's going to be a, a long game. If they don't, we may see we may have a boring game here tonight. 
Good pressure defense by the sophomore, Michael Foster. In a game like this, especially if you're on the road, does Tosa want to control the tempo, run their stuff? Because it, it seems like the Washington get a steal. That's uniting with this team to go uh, on, on nice runs. Tosa has to control the tempo. But every time down, Tosa has gotten a good shot. In the, in the first three possessions, they got a nice running by A. They got a wide open three-point shot. And they just got a nice opportunity to try to finish at the rim. The other thing comes, the other thing for Washington is this. I still don't know how deep Washington is. You know, if if if, if Trey gets in foul trouble, let's say they get two of the big three in foul trouble. Um, does the guy do the guys come off the bench? Are they able to handle that load? Still by Long. Long gives the Foster. Foster goes up for layup. No good. He'll be going to the line, shooting two. Uh, even though this is an out-of-conference matchup, it has this, I don't want to say a city feel to it, only because Mark Mitchell played in the city conference, coach in the city conference, assistant coach for King for some years, at Custer for a couple other years. Um, it just, these two teams are going to fear and the style that belongs to the West plays. One thing he does know, and he's teaching his team, that if we rotate the ball and move the ball for more than 20 seconds, we may find a hole in the offense to get an open shot. And as you can see, every time down, they're running at least 10 to 15 seconds of offense, and they're getting that open shot. They're just not hitting it right now. Right. Just as long, long gets in trouble, kicks it out. Martin thought about the three, goes in. Ball knocked out of bounds, stayed with the per goalers. I, we had conversations, I think me and you, Jose, and I've had conversations about Milwaukee, Washington, how they looked before they got Trey. And that looked like a team that may struggle to get to state. Now, with an addition of Trey White, like you guys says, he puts everybody in a position, but he also brings a perimeter, gives them more perimeter uh, oriented. Now you can't double on Mike when Mike's in the block or Long is in the block. And that game against Bayview, he was huge those first five minutes of that game. It's because he took over that game. Well, well, one thing I've noticed with Trey is that he's he's um, a seasoned veteran as a freshman. You know, most times, most pe most players don't know when you go under a screen, you shoot. When they trail, you go to the rim. He ha he already has that. <laughs> Trey is a is a pure point guard, so he gets them guys involved, it looks like, and he and he then does his own thing. He's a common demeanor to the team. He brings a calmness to him. Mm -hmm. Before him, they were sporadic. Foster and Alec out. And that's the three-point specialist right there. Very Anytime proud. you see Romeo Blakely in the game, he's always going to that corner. And he's a knockdown three-point shooter. If he's in a, any side of the corner. He's a tough kid. You know, Washington got tough kids, man. They know how to play. They tough as nails. Um, and they and, and they compete. They compete every night out. You know, it goes back to their rich history. Uh, sitting next to, to the legend himself and <laughs> Brian Gardner, um, to Mark Mitchell, to Calvin Rayford. You know, they can go all the way down the line. The Robert Jacksons, they've had, they got a long history of outstanding players here at this program. Thanks, Jose. Foster get, thought about the three now on the perimeter. Three-point shot. Off the mark. Rebound comes to Denzel Knight. As you can see, they're running their offense. They're staying patient. As they stay patient, the score is only 3-2. They've missed a lot of shots. They're running their offense and getting open shots. Washington's are taking jump shots, like Jose said. And I think that's what's keeping them in the game right now. Once they realize how much bigger they are than those guys mm -hmm. and pound it down low, they'll make it much easier. And they have to decide. I think I think it has to become a mentality 
where they have to decide each game, we're going to pound these little dudes inside. You know, I don't think they're going to run into too many teams with their length and their size and their athleticism. Well, you know, part of it is is that Trey is new with those guys. I think he, he doesn't, he understands mismatches, but they don't understand what he's doing when he puts the, uh, identifies mismatches. You know, they take the extra shot instead of just identifying with the mismatch, making it easy, kicking it down low, kicking it back out for the open shot. They make it difficult on themselves by just, I guess, breaking the offensive set each time down. Foul will be. It's a big foul. Yeah, that was a big. That's number two on one. L.A. Mark Mitchell does not agree with that call. It looked like he had all ball. But Trey White set him up. He attacked. He came downhill and attacked the defense, made, making A make a decision if you want to go for the ball. to see if they don't become rattled here. Good point shot by number 21. Getting comfortable. Exactly. In every possession right. down, they have gotten a good look. You asked me earlier, Craig, um, what's one thing I, I, I believe that Washington, what one thing that Washington Long struggled three. with? I think the defensive end, um, they don't stay, they don't keep their principles on the defensive end. And They're I think launching. after four or five right. passes, they start gambling, they start trying to get out on a fast break uh, too early. And and against the right team, you know, these teams are in the playoffs, man. Yeah. All you gotta do is all you gotta do is be the team once. Some yeah. team might come out and work that ball 15, 20 times on them and get wide open shots. Well, as, right, as you go up, as you grow and go and grow in the regionals and the sectionals, each team they know. They know what it takes to beat you. And if you if you do what they need you to do in order for them to beat you, that's going to happen. Like tonight. Right now, I'm noticing that Marcus running offense every time down. He's getting a shot that he wants. Watch this coming back. But it's not the shot that's best for the team right now. The coaches, um, the coach isn't always the one that you that that has to identify what's going on on the floor. They are actually out there, and sometimes you can sort of call plays and do things the way that you want when you have a guy like Trey that that can run your offense. Twenty-two for the top of the three, no good. That's Jay Henson Jr. just checked in the game. Here comes Washington. Trey on the attack, gets to the middle. Ball is knocked out of his hand. Abe Serge comes up with it, pushing the floor. Gets it to Christian Green, block, but he'll be going to line, shooting two shots. Score right now, 7-4. Milwaukee, Washington up on Tulsa East. Low scoring game, 11-38 remaining here in the first half. Washington up three, 7-4. With this unit in for Mark right now, they're less of a perimeter-oriented team and they're more of a fast-breaking team. So uh, that last possession, which you saw with Long, is Long understood the scouting report, and he sunk all the way in where they couldn't enter that ball into the post. So just like they did this last possession, they're going to have to try to get some stops and get out on the break. This WIA regional final is sponsored by Heartbeat Inc. And that's Brian Gardner's company. We'll talk more to him at halftime about it. But this WIA regional game is sponsored by Heartbeat Inc. And beautiful thing what you're doing, like I said, we'll get more into it at halftime, talk about your, uh, your business and... And you just, we talked about this too. You've been doing this longer than the two years that your company's been. Yes, uh, yes. About, <laughs> you've been doing this yeah, for yeah. countless, for countless countless years. years. I but mean, it, it's now you went, made it, you made it corporate. Right. So we're right, talking right. into that and beautiful thing you're doing. I mean, I think it's free to give away knowledge in basketball because it was given away free to me. But now with the times and how it's going, you have to figure out a way to, I guess, stay stay your course. Ball goes out. It's, it'll go to Milwaukee, Washington. Clay Jr. is huge because they're able to spread that floor a little bit more. Um, 
But in the playoffs, good all it takes is a good game, man. Your record could be your record could be an 0, 0 and 22. But if you if you jail at the right time, man. Good dunk by number Denzel yes, Knight. Yes, fundamental and play. Tosa West is playing like they're not scared at all. 10 8. Walk, walk, you watch it too. So if you gel at the right time, you can beat anybody. Tough shot by Foster fade away. Jimmy they, Brown's there for the rebound. They got a rebound. Brian, I'm, I'm throwing a nugget out there. That young man, number 11, his uncle uh, texted me the other day. I worked him out a little bit in the summertime. He's a senior looking for a school next year. So, mm. I mean, you know, I'm throwing a little plug <laughs> yes, out there. Yes, right, yes. Right. I need it, Jose. You know your word is golden with me. And do it. I get to see him Christian here Green. today live. Yeah. That's a good thing. Timeout call on the floor by Milwaukee, Washington, 12 to 10. Washington up to, but Rawatosa West is <laughs> Marcus not playing every possession. Marcus coaching like the players playing every possession. Told you they're taking his demeanor. You can see it. As you see, we take a look outside of the Mark Mitchell's huddle right there. Has a lot of intensity, like you said, uh, BG. These players are a replica of who he was right. and how he competes um, when he was a player and as a coach. Yes, everyone's a <laughs> of Trey is the most important guy on Washington right now? Jonte. Jonte Martin. Because Jonte has always been the guy that holds the best score on the other team. He's the guy that dives on the floor, boxes out. He's the guy that all the 50-50 balls. Look, as we speak, he's getting up to come in. Freddie, he, you know, I've been around a long time, and he's selfless. When I say selfless, He's played in all the big games. He knows just to swing the ball, and he can shoot. But he knows how to continue the offense to run, and he, he isn't a ball stopper guy, none of that. Watch it on that line break. White, attack, spin, goes up, bailed out with a foul. He'll be going to the line shooting, too. Coach, I, this is for both of you, Brian and also Jose. This pace right now, does this favor Washington or does favor Tosa? It favors Tosa. <laughs> Get into a rhythm. If they can, if they can limit their transition points, Tosa West will have a chance to be right, and that's why that's why he's running 15 to 20 seconds of offense. Mm -hmm. Because if you run 20 to 20 to 25 seconds of offense, someone's going to be out of position first of all, and they're going to be tired. It's hard to to continue to grind, play 25 seconds of D, and run the ball down the court real fast. They're going to get tired then they're going to have to run their half-court set, and which brings the tempo as we speak, John Tyler. Tyler so comes to steal, goes up strong, off, goes to Hart, White with the rebound. Ball taken away. Here comes the Trojans. A deep three, up and in. 14-13, Milwaukee Washington up one. 8.56 remaining here in the first half, and Wawatosa West has came to play. Playoffs, man. Don't know records matter. You know, they've played some tough competition this year. They went through a lot of adversity this year, and they and they were able to pull that first game out. Once pulling that first game out, man, you start believing, like, yes. we can beat anybody. Yes, the you season know, starts over. Anybody. And that first game, they took on Whitefish Bay last night, winning 83-68. Upsetting, I think. Actually, that was an upset. Tosa was the fifth seed. Whitefish Bay was the fourth seed. Rebound, what I tell you, they want to play tonight. They're hungrier, and Washington's actually at home. And that kid Abe can play. We, I had an opportunity to coach against him a few years at Dominican. Um, he's a phenomenal athlete. He, obviously, he's added a, 
a little bit more of a jump shot to his arsenal, but he competes hard, man. Right up. Are you guys noticing the difference now? They're noticing that they're a little down low, so now they're pounding it down low. Sir, Abe goes baseline. <laughs> Denzel for three, two, two pointer. That shot is good. <laughs> we just ran to our, our guest analyst last game, the MATC Brian Strike game. Uh, Bree Love did a great job filling in for Jose when he was going. Hey man, you got to love Bree, man. <laughs> you got to love him. I, I know one thing. He's for the kids. He is. He's, definitely he's for the kids. All of them. It isn't yeah. one kid from one particular school. He's for the community. He sacrifices a lot uh, to help out young people. And, uh, you know, it's people like that that uh, keeps our community together. Um, people like yourself and, and Heartbeat and, and people like Bree Love that, you know, they may not have their own company, but, you know, they've been grinding in the community oh, for many, many years. It's people like that uh, that really, really hey. keep our community afloat. Spending countless hours of calling coaches, visiting, going on visits with kids, and so on and so forth, holding coaches, coaches accountable. You know, some coaches need to be held accountable because they just get a kid there, and if he doesn't be, that isn't the kid that they want him to be, then they'll just send them home. 16, 17. Yes. Look at look at Tulsa West. They're running their offense. They're so, gonna get what they what I tell you. Look at that. They're gonna get what they want if yeah. they run 15 seconds of offense. Time out yeah, on the floor. And the thing becomes, too, if, if you continue, like Brian said, continue to advance, mm -hmm. that means teams are getting better and better and right. better. Then you're going to run into those teams, same height, probably some of the same athleticism, and, and knocking down shots. Now you're going to be in some trouble. So Washington's main thing is they got to come out with a mentality from the jump to try to put people away. And that's hard to do. That's not an easy feat in itself. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has emotions going into the game, and, and I think that Tulsa West has gotten over the jitters quicker than Washington in Washington's gym. They give a lot of credit yeah. to Tulsa West coming in. Nice crowd for both teams, uh, but coming into a hostile environment, uh, having a three-point lead with 632, 1916, Tulsa West up on Milwaukee, Washington. At halftime, we'll talk to our very own Brian Gardner about his company, Heartbeat Incorporated, but also... Uh, we got to give a shout out to Sanjay Dale because when Jose Winston was on break for a week, Sanjay filled in for a couple games and did an amazing job. I'm not sure if he's had the AU um, yeah, they're, tournament they're this down weekend. In Choice for City. AU tournament. But I, City. Did, I did look at you guys' views and <laughs> they weren't as high as mine when I'm online. So it's yes. all good though, you know. He's still yes. my brother. I appreciate him for filling in. But, uh, you know, these shoes are hard to fill, man. <laughs> you know, I've been doing this a long time now. Yeah. I'm seasoned. We're game, what, 25, like, 26? Yeah, like, we deep in the game right wow. now. Wow, and I've been nasty. enjoying it. I've been enjoying watching you go through the <laughs> go through the, the, the motions, per se, because it's a natural for you. Mm -hmm. You know, anytime you've played at the levels that we've played at, we've been getting interviewed, sitting at tables like right. this for time, countless hours, countless minutes. And so now we can all put it all together and bring it to a common cause to help the kids and help, it, it, it'll help the recruiting process. Mm -hmm. You know, this situation helps the recruiting process also because now coaches don't have to travel to see us when they can sit in their confines of their house and actually watch the kids that they're recruiting. Absolutely right, and that, that's a great benefit of having the athlete life, but having the talent, having you guys, Jose Winston, Brian Gardner, Sanjay Adele, guys who are local, but play at the high level. It's not like listening to somebody surge for the top of three, no good. It's not like having guys who play at that level where these kids want to go, talking about the game, and still working with these kids. White with a nice move, kicks it out to carry on, carry on back to White. White, two pointer, good. Washington that, takes the lead 2019. With that being said, we do have an awesome basketball fraternity around here. We just don't, don't have an organized fraternity. You know, we have a, a lot of gentlemen in the community that played at the high level and are willing to help kids and are still helping kids. Good D. We got a five-second count. Yeah, uh, Green got a little rattled. You're starting to see Washington pick up the on-ball pressure as well. Um, 
to, to try to speed up Tulsa West. But you know, Mark has been able to steal quite a few minutes right now with Greer. Uh, Mark is probably, I think he's played close to 12 kids now. Uh, close to 10 to 12 kids right now. So they're competing, okay. man, they're staying in it. But you can, like Brian said earlier, now you're starting to see Long and you're starting to see Foster start to gravitate down to that post. And, and that's, yourself, when it, that's when it becomes an issue. And ball pass comes to Foster. Foster, want to work on the block. Child. Sees Long. Oh, He's called with the offensive charge. Hey. He's under the rim, though, wasn't he? Yeah, but one thing I know about Mark, he's going to have his team ready to do the little things. he That's an extra right there. That he didn't he didn't think he was going to get it. He got it. And it's on it's on Foster. That's a big call. That's Foster's second. And Mark, Mark came back in with Greer with two. I would, don't be surprised if an adjustment comes in that second half or maybe even late in this half to give it a look. Um... A little zone. We haven't seen a little. We haven't seen any zone yet by uh, Tosa West yet. Ah, good hustle. Landing on the line though. Both teams. Yes. Both teams playing. You, if you can feel the playoff intensity by both teams diving on the floor uh, in a close game. 2019, 447 remaining here in the first half. Milwaukee, Washington, with a one-point lead over the visiting Wabatosa West. This is interesting. This is uh, this is the first time I've seen Clay in the game. So they're gonna spread the floor a little bit with Clay and and, and uh, Trey, and then put their big three kind of yes. roaming that yes. baseline in the and triangle. Post. Yep, looks good. Let's see if they'll pound it down low. This is probably they watched the Washington best shooting lineup on the floor right now. Well, all five guys will shoot the three, which you have to guard all five guys. Which, if they make it to state, this is one of those teams, the lineup that you would want to see, depending who they play. Offensively, I think by far this is their best offensive lineup. Long ends with Foster. Foster wants to go, dance. Baseline's cut off. He pulls up for a tough shot, air ball. If you're, if you're a Tosa West, those are shots you would live with oh, from Mike yes. Foster. Fade away, long twos. Hey, did you see Mark clap after he took the shot? <laughs> Even if he made that shot, Mark would have clapped. Right, exactly. Because those are the shots we want you to take coming down late in the second half when this game is yes, close. Yes. And and it's and, and and we need a couple possessions, a couple stops. We got to live with that. We would rather you taking that long jump shot, if I'm Michael Foster right now, than you pounding me in the paint. Right. Right? I got I to gotta give and take. As a coach, you got to give and take. But... I mean, that doesn't mean he can't make it. By no means no, am I no, saying By no means, Kenny, but that's, that's, but that's what I need yeah. you to that's do. That's falling if I'm into the, the defense's coach. hands, yes. right. You know, they don't have to do much. They just turn and box out. When you pound it down low, that puts a load on the entire team. Free, second free throw was good, giving Tosa West a one-point lead. 20-21, four minutes remaining here in the first half. They get a little bit more motion offensively, though. Oh, boy, they're running their offense now. That's a good thing. Something positive always happens when you run your offense. White, yeah, See White with Trey White with the three at the top of the yes, key. Yes. Now we're going to come down Tulsa West. I'm telling you, on average, 20 seconds. And they're getting what they want. Aaron called with too many steps. Aaron Good turnover. Substitution number 12 for Wawatosa West. That is Dylan Parker and also number 20, Justin Stinky, back in the game. You know, it's important that Greer, you know, sometimes foul trouble, foul trouble makes you start to uh, kind of push a little harder. And offensively, it looks like he's coming. He's trying to go a little harder, trying to get to his spots and do what he, do his thing. But he got to continue to let the game flow. You know, don't don't force it. Let it be. Let it be pure. Let it be easy. That's a big foul. Man. I remember that kid now. Yeah, he's he gotten play. bigger. Yeah, he can play. <laughs> he he play. wasn't a point guard when I, when he was younger. He thick like yes, Jeff Bagley. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And he Aaron finishes with both hands. Greer yeah. going to free throw line. 
25-21, 3 11 remaining here in the first half. I think that kid is ready for this moment. This is what he wants, too, just as bad as Mark. He's one of Mark's players, but he's just as hungry as Mark to play against the City Conference. Yep. Well, if, if he just has to settle back in that foul trouble, got him a, a little off his game. But once he settles in, that kid can be pretty good, too. Yeah. Having the ball in his hand coming down the stretch, too, will be huge if they can keep it close enough. He makes great decisions. And they're going under all the screens. They want him to shoot jump shots, if you've noticed. Foster working one-on-one. Step back, two-point shot off. Rebound goes. It will go to Tosa. Twenty-five, twenty-two. Well, I'm a firm believer in that. We have coaches on the sideline, but when you, when we're out there as a team, we need to know and be on the st same string and the same page. And right now, it doesn't look like Washington's on the same page. Stepped out of bounds by Denzel Knight. Denzel Knight. They're going to try to keep uh, Clay in the pick and roll. And if he switches off on Greer, Greer's going to try to put his head down every time and try to get into the paint. Uh, if I'm Clay at some point, I might try to bait him into it and try to get that third foul on him. Hey, Jose, we've been around a long time. I, I, I hope and wish that they'll learn. They would know that at this level. You know what I'm saying? Back then, we had to know it at this level. Right now, there's still uh, progress in action <laughs> in so many words. So it's you teach it to them, but then they have to see it on the court. Once they see it on the court, then it becomes, they become familiar with it. And the last three possessions for Tosa West have been turnovers. You can't beat a good team like Milwaukee, Washington if you're not getting shots up. I'm pretty sure that's one of the things Coach Mitchell is going to address to his team at halftime. 27-22, 150 remaining here in the first half. You're watching and listening to the Athlete Live WIA Regional uh, Finals game sponsored by the Heartbeat box out. Inc. Yeah, that was great. great box out. Fundamental box out. Aaron, three, no good. Long with the rebound. That was the, uh, uh, the runouts we were speaking of. Going both ways. Hey, drops it in for two. 27-24. Long thought about it. White's wide open for three. That's off. You know, uh, prior to the possession, they just got the layup with A. Good outlet. Good jump shot. Oh. In. Out. That would have tied the game up right there. Let's see. Trey's a smart point guard to be a freshman. Did you see him just pull yeah, it out? Very points. Yeah. They went up and down two or three times, missed shots. He decided just to pull it out and get his team back in order. That's what Washington needed, not just tonight, but during all year. They got Trey, now they have a calm demeanor via the point guard. Hustle, Mike. Good shot right there by Foster. Follow his rebound. The degree of difficult for some of Foster's shots in his first half has just been kind of like amazing where he can probably just shoot over the top of his defender being 6'9". Denzel wants to take Foster, but block, big time block by Foster, 29-24. Substitutions in for Tosa West, also for Milwaukee, Washington. Twenty-one seconds remaining. Denzel up and under, good. 29, 26, 10 seconds remaining. That was a confident move. Five seconds. Clay wants the three. Passes it. The guy gets the shot up. Shots up. No good. Milwaukee Washington takes a three point lead as they're winning 29 26. Jose Winston will catch up with Craig okay, for anybody to talk about. What he saw in that first that. half. I'll try to get you one, all right? 
Hey, hey. How you doing? Good to see you. All right, Jose, what you got for us? He in the crowd. Have time with Coach Freddie. Uh, you guys are winning 29-26. What are some of the adjustments after halftime that you'll go in and talk about? Well, one thing I did see is we started to begin to have some success the last couple of minutes of the game. The thing about it is we got to stay consistent with it. You know, the guys are not being patient right now with uh, setting up their uh, inside game and, uh, and, and rewarding themselves off of it. I don't care if they bang you two, three times, if the ref missed you one or two times, you have to consistently continue to pound the ball in the inside. We got six fouls, and we didn't pick up any more fouls, and we got a tremendous size advantage. We started to settle for jump shots. We started to settle for one, two passes. You know, we got to do better than that. We're a lot better than that. And I'm pretty sure once I go in and talk to the guys in, in, at halftime, we make some adjustments that come out and play a lot, lot better. Okay. What do you think went really well for you guys that you want the guys to maintain in the second half so you can come out victorious? Well, I thought we did a pretty good job of uh, keeping the ball out the paint. Uh, I thought in defending their three-point shots. I thought we did a pretty good job of that because they do that pretty good. They penetrate and kick team. You know, and they go up, pick and roll, and pop, and they love to suck, and then commit and get their shooters going. If not, if they don't commit, they'll take it to the basket. But I thought we did a pretty good job of containing them for the most part. They did get a couple of buckets off of it, but not nothing to where we had to really had a serious concern. And the biggest thing that was transition buckets uh, on defense, and then we just got to make them make a little work a little harder. Don't give them no second chance shots, and I think we'll be fine. Thanks, Freddie. Good Thank luck, baby. All right, thank you so much, Jose Winston, with that interview uh, with Coach Riley. He's definitely probably going to have a lot to say uh, to his team once he gets uh, into the locker room. But right now, Washington get takes a 29-26 to 26 lead over Wauwatosa West. Uh, coming up now, we're going to interview the very own Brian Gardner. He's one-third of Heartbeat Incorporated. Um, so, but he's a popular guy here, too, because he's also from Milwaukee, Washington. Uh, Let's talk about Brian. We got you right now. So, Brian, what, what was your what was your inspiration of starting this? Like I said, you've been working with the community for years now. You've been working with kids one on one. What was you first off? Give your background, a, a, a brief background, of what you do, and um, kind of why you want to start Heartbeat Incorporated with your partners. Um, right now, I am involved in being a college basketball coach. I am a special ed teacher. I am a um, motivational speaker. I train kids. I referee. So I, I do. The, I, I'm part of doing having something to do with the full gamut of an athlete. I actually been on um, 10 to 15 di different college visits with kids. If their parents can't go, I go with them and I sort of coach them through the questions that you'll ask to see if that coach is really interested in you. With that being said, my prereq is that the grades have to come first. And then with your grades being the way that they are, I have my own shoe business. And I give shoes away to the kids that get the 3.5s and the right. 4 points. And that sort of gives, that's minimal motivation for mm -hmm. something that, that they need to do anyway. So off the, off the court, you get these kids' minds right. But on the court, you do some training yourself. Yeah. You have a, another partner who does it, another uh, former a Milwaukee um, great. Talk Rick about Spice. Rick Spice. Talk about his involvement and how did you guys come up with teaming together to make Heartbeat Inc.? Well, um, the, the way Heartbeat Inc. came to play, it was uh, probably for the last 20 years. Myself and Rick would take kids up to the Whitewaters, the Oshkoshes, and we would be camp counselors, Marquette. We would be camp counselors, and we would be leading the demonstrations, leading all the drills and everything. So we decided just to come home and do it ourselves. And with us doing it ourselves, I don't have as much time to do it day to day, mm -hmm. but Rick does it day to day. That's why we're, we're in co collaboration together to sort of um, make sure that they're, they're doing the drills fundamentally right. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can take a kid and get a kid out there and have them go through drills, but do they know the, the fundamentals, right. the A to Z? Right not from M to Z. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And when you miss that step and you get to college and you really don't know the basketball lingo, mm -hmm. that's the reason for a coach to sit you. So we sort of prep the kids mind, body, and soul to get to the college the next level. We can't guarantee they're gonna play, but we know they're gonna be prepared for the situation if it comes into play. Your slogan is caring for our community one heartbeat at a time. If people want to sign up, either get um, some counseling or get one-on-one -on -one individual workouts, how can they contact Heartbeat Inc.? 
Well, first of all, they can contact me, Brian Garner, at 414-234-4974. Or Rick Spicer at 414-698-9465. Um, it would be best to leave a text or a message, and we'll get back with you right away with the fee. The fee, it's, a, it, we, it's hard for us to charge because we've been doing it for free right. for so long. But we do have a fee for... You know, and then when they call you, you can you, you'll right, tell we'll them go through what the that's right. Of what it is, right? It, 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 it isn't a one rate set rate. Mm -hmm. We have different levels for different levels of kids and, and so on and so forth. So it'll be under discussion. We also have scholarships where we have people in the community that pay for kids to come to training. All right. So with that being said, um, give us a try and see what's gonna how it'll work out for you. All right. So if you're looking for a workout, someone to work you got your kids out, not only just on the court but off the court, guide them. These guys been there on the court, major Division One, Division Three, Rick Spicer, Division Three national champion. Make sure you contact Heartbeat Inc. We'll be back. You've been watching and listening to The Athlete Live. Be on the lookout for more Bobcats Wisconsin. Bryant and Stratton College's Wauwatosa campus now offers 15 intercollegiate athletic programs, including eSports starting this fall. Competing in the NJCAA Division II level gives Bryant and Stratton College the opportunity to offer scholarships to student athletes. Learn more about Bobcats athletics at bscbobcats.com. Bryant and Stratton College, opportunities start here. Be on the lookout for more Bobcats Wisconsin. Bryant and Stratton College's Wauwatosa campus now offers 15 intercollegiate athletic programs, including eSports starting this fall. Competing in the NJCAA Division II level gives Bryant and Stratton College the opportunity to offer scholarships to student athletes. Learn more about Bobcats athletics at bscbobcats.com. Bryant and Stratton College, opportunities start here. Be on the lookout for more Bobcats Wisconsin. Bryant and Stratton College's Wauwatosa campus now offers 15 intercollegiate athletic programs, including eSports starting this fall. Competing in the NJCAA Division II level gives Bryant and Stratton College the opportunity to offer scholarships to student athletes. Learn more about Bobcats athletics at bscbobcats.com. Bryant and Stratton College, opportunities start here. Be on the lookout for more Bobcats Wisconsin. Bryant and Stratton College's Wauwatosa campus now offers 15 intercollegiate athletic programs, including eSports starting this fall. Competing in the NJCAA Division II level gives Bryant and Stratton College the opportunity to offer scholarships to student athletes. Learn more about Bobcats athletics at bscbobcats.com. Bryant and Stratton College, opportunities start here. Be on the lookout for more Bobcats Wisconsin. Bryant and Stratton College's Wauwatosa campus now offers 15 intercollegiate athletic programs, including eSports starting this fall. Competing in the NJCAA Division II level gives Bryant and Stratton College the opportunity to offer scholarships to student athletes. Learn more about Bobcats athletics at bscbobcats.com. Bryant and Stratton College, opportunities start here.
And welcome back to the Athlete Live here at Milwaukee, Washington for the original final against Wauwatosa West. Craig Hart alongside my partner, Jose Winston, and special analyst guest, Brian Gardner, all-time great here at Milwaukee, Washington. Fellas, I want, real quick, what did you like, Jose, in that first half by Milwaukee, Washington? Well, for Milwaukee, Washington, I think they started to pound the ball inside. I think Coach Freddie, uh, Coach Freddie Riley kind of spoke upon it going into halftime that, you know, they have to use their, their size and their athleticism. Let's start inside out and, not, and let's not start outside in. So it'll be interesting if, if, to see if the guys took, took that message to heart and see if they come out and pound it down low. And, BG, if you're Coach Mark Mitchell, what are you saying to your team only down three uh, in the second half? We're in a great position. Let's continue to run our offense, uh, average of 20 seconds, and see what happens. All right, let's back to the action uh, right now. Milwaukee, Washington with the raw ball. Get it, they want to get it inside the long. Long up and good. That's, that's, it's almost impossible um, for Tosa to stop that. Aaron pulls up. No good. Foster with the rebound. Gives it to Long. Looks like Aaron thought the uh, other shoes weren't doing him any justice, so he went and he switched. Have See you him. ever done that? Never. My feet way too <laughs> sensitive. Long. In the first two possessions, Washington came down, came out, pounded it inside, and uh, got two, two buckets by Long in a row. And now Tosa came down, forced his shot early, and now Washington's on a White. break. Nice step through by Trey White to get the basket. 35-26. Washington came out the gates real strong. In less than a minute and 10 seconds, less than two minutes, they're able to almost put their lead to double digits. 35-26. Well, we just spoke on it. They want to go up and down with Washington. You can't go up and down with a team that wants to do that. Long. Got a line violation, which I'm a three seconds. Did he touch his foot touch the line, or was it three seconds? I don't know. I think they're saying he went out of bounds and then came in. Full court press by Milwaukee, Washington. Eight, three point left, top. That's good. That's a huge shot because yeah. I thought that I thought that was danger time for them. <laughs> I, I won't lie to you. I thought if they didn't score that possession and if Washington was able to score, or even if Washington would have came out and got a dunk at some point, uh, it would have been tough. So that was a huge possession there. Foster makes his back shot, goes in, 37-29. They're giving them a heavy dose of in the paint right now. And this is, reminds me of the second half when Washington played Bayview. Foster and Lone exclusively shot all inside the paint type shots that gave them that, that healthy lead. Long fires White. And a Foster. Foster's five. And it's, you guys are right. I think Coach Riley must have told them everything in the paint. White passed up a three-pointer he had. Foster passed up a shot that he would have shot in the first half. Everything must be going inside the paint in the second half. Long. Misses. Rebound again. Long up again. Misses. Still up. And that's where Washington gets you. Second, third, fourth chances, opportunities. They're pounding them inside. Yes, right those now. are some big bodies down there. They're pounding them. They take up a lot of space. You got space. You got big Jimmy Brown. He's listed at 6'8". Maybe definitely two plus something. Martin, Long, Foster. These are some big guys. Out, and Long. I, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point Mark make a little adjustment and maybe play a couple of possessions of zone. Try to see if he can get them to shoot a couple outside shots, maybe miss a couple. Yeah, I see um, it coming too. Slow it down. He's gonna, he's gonna just change it up a little bit. But he's gonna need Greer. He's gonna need Greer to step his game up. If Denzel. They have, 
Oh boy, but the, the knocks down the three. Washington's <laughs> pressing and they're, they're scoring off the press. We're gonna see if Freddie makes the adjustment. And I don't think Washington needs to press right now. Well, no, not at all. Because I, I, I don't think they're, when they press, uh, once you initially break that front line, they're not sprinting back as hard as they can. Here's a good, another block nice shot. Nice by Foster. Did, that shot there. Didn't block that, but it changed the trajectory of that shot. Here comes Washington Long. Finds Foster. Foster. Playing, dancing. Finds Long on the block. Steps out of bound, turnover ball with goat or foul. Foul on number 11. That's huge. He, that's their most athletic player. The only one that got a little link to match up down there with Washington. To be his third one, that's a tough one. I think Mark's going to ride it out with him. It's crunch time. Tough pass right there by Trey White. Tried to thread the needle to a cutting Jonte Martin. You know, with Greer only having two, uh, obviously early in the second half, I think the foul trouble kind of mentally got into his head a little bit. He's come out and he's forced a, a couple shots, so Mark is trying to settle him down. That's it. You got to hit that one. That's why you in there. Justin can't make the three. Foster with the rebound. Crosses over. Too easy. And you don't see many 6'9", 6'10", guys that make that, get the rebound, go coast to coast, and cross someone's over to finish up top. Denzel goes up, fouled by John Tate Martin. He'll be going to line shooting two. 40-31, Milwaukee Washington with a nine-point lead. 14-14 remaining here in the second half. And I keep harping on Greer because he's their senior leader. He's been through these wars before. He has to settle himself down to help give his team a chance to win. You know, he has that lower body where he can maybe match up with Long a little bit in that mid-post area. Yes, yes. But he has to settle down first. Substitution for the Pearl Guarders, number two, Carry on McKee comes in, and also number 24, Ramon Blakely. When he puts Carry on in, Carry on strictly in for defense. He's going to turn it up. They may go full court man to man now. I wouldn't be surprised. And this is when I go zone a bit right here. Give me a possession off a of free throw. Because that's too easy. That's too easy. Long gets the two to drop, 42-32. Milwaukee, Washington with a 10-point lead here in the second half. Delay game warning on White. Next one would be a tech if it's referee's gonna talk about this. Uh. <laughs> I have to admit, Brian Gardner has done an a, a, a awesome job. He's been be very professional. We all know who he's rooting for, uh, naturally. <laughs> but you right. wouldn't been able, you won't, you wouldn't be able to tell it. You know, um, he's been very professional about the way he has conducted himself yeah. while while online. So uh, great job, BG. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I am sort of biased at Mark playing too. You know, me and Mark won state title together. So part of my heart says I want Mark to win, but the biggest part says Washington Pergold is forever. So Mark's in a win-win situation either way it goes. Boy, I tipped out of bounds by Foster. It will stay with the Trojans. It truly brings a smile to my face to come in and see so many people. Yes. Coming to support the kids. Yes, absolutely. You know, this this is this used to be the standard for NPS basketball. Yes. Um, obviously, this isn't all NPS, but and it's a playoff game. But you know, when the best teams in NPS used to match up, it was standing room only. Yes, you and know, that and was we, during JV game. Yeah, and we talked about it a little bit about that too, Craig. Like uh, just a sense of pride and the sense of community and the and the and, and the the kids feeling like they belong to something special. 
uh, we definitely, uh, as a community, have to get back to that um, because our kids deserve um, to enjoy high school, and sports is a major part of high school. Yes, one thing I do remember was that we always hung out with each other. In the summer times, we would all play together. And I think what happens is the AAU situation comes in, and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but the kids just lose a, a sense of camaraderie, of playing against each other, of knowing each other game. Because when I played basketball, my hardest time playing was actually playing here in Milwaukee. If I got, got a chance to play out of town, it was easy. It's because they didn't know anything about my game. These right. kids nowadays, they learn about each other once they play up. And I agree with you. Um, this state, this city, has some of the best basketball players throughout the country. And it always has. You yeah. know, they may not have always gotten the recognition, but they always have. I mean, you had street guys who were phenomenal basketball players. I mean, you can, you can look at a guy like Tracy Gross, who probably didn't play collegiately, but it was nobody who could match up with Tracy. Listen to this. You would never know. Tracy did play collegiately. I didn't know that. He just played out of town. Right. And most guys play out of town, and they, they, when it comes time to come home, if you're comfortable in, in the setting that you're in, the college that you're playing for, you're mm -hmm. going to stay in that area. You know, like, like Jose said, it's, we have so many, so many kids that are, are Division I players, but their, the curriculum doesn't match. You know, they don't want to do what it takes in school, so they have to go the junior college route, and they end up at the major universities with two years to play. Um, that's part of what I'm working on. I'm trying to build a, a, a system where we can almost guarantee that they'll get to school if they do the the, the ACT and the, the grade-wise. Because right. a lot of them, they don't realize they're good at basketball until their junior and senior year. Now they have to work double hard just to get to a junior college, let known a Division one or two school. I hope that wasn't on 11. Mark talking to me now. I can't even look over ah, there. That's yes. his fourth foul. Yeah. Tosa's able to crack into that lead, bring it down to five, 43-37. Less than 12 minutes before remaining here in the second half. And they're chipping away. Stand, staying in the game against Milwaukee, Washington on the road. Rick, you guys talked about great turnout from Milwaukee Washington. This, is, this will be their last home game of the season. Uh, regional sectionals will, will be on the road as they will either head to, I think, Wauwatosa East. And if they win, if they win this game uh, Thursday, they'll play Thursday at Tosa East. And if they win that, their sectional final will be at uh, Milwaukee Lutheran. And do Milwaukee Lutheran has a great do chance. Do we know between what team, if whoever wins this game will play who? Do we know that? Um, if, if, say that again? Like, if, if whoever wins this game plays against whom? So the winner of this game will play the winner of Greendale or Pete Walk or Pete Walkie play Pete Walkie. Good ball fake. And Bayview. That's something that I teach, a two dribble, one dribble pull up. The easiest shot in basketball. So the winner of this game will play Milwaukee, either Milwaukee, Martin Luther, I mean Milwaukee Lutheran, or uh, Wauwatosa, Wisconsin Luther. They're playing tonight. Milwaukee Lutheran plays hard, boy. Both of them teams play really hard. This is a good game right now. It's a couple possessions away. Yeah, they're right where they need to be. Right where they need to be. They're actually only six points down with the ball. Oh. But when you looked at the brackets, for especially for Division Two, and this is the Section Four, the matchup everybody wanted to see was who would Milwaukee Washington play if they won their regional and then had to play that sectional final game? It would be a rematch of the Milwaukee Bayview. So if both teams they win today. Division Two as well. Yes. So hey, Bay let me tell you something. Bayview is probably the hardest playing high school yes. team. I've seen all year long. And I second that. They are relentless and all on the five rebounding positions. Yes. board. Yes. They are throwback as I don't know what, man, and they are fearless. So 
it will not be an easy task on whoever plays Bayview. Well, again, it's a testament to their coach. At, ev at every level, we continue to say it. The teams that are, as we go and as we grow, it, it, the teams take a demeanor of their coach. And that coach over there, he's, 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 not, he's a disciplinarian, but he's fair. Great rebound. Absolutely right. Great rebound by the guy you talked about, BG, Dante, Dante Martin, Martin. Going up, getting a man rebound, going back up strong, giving Washington a nine-point lead, 49-39. Then he's holding the toughest guard on defense. Good move, young man. Mm. Tough shot. Couldn't Gotta get the go. That. Washington. Got to finish that one. Can't get the rebound. Ball scramble. Travel and call. Ball will go to Milwaukee, Washington. Yeah, um, I would love to see that game that we talked about if Bayview is able to win their games in Washington to have a rematch of the City Conference Championship uh, to go to state. Hey, I have a question for you, gentlemen. What's the, uh, the best division in high school basketball in the state right now? Two. Two. It's been that way the last three years, I think. Wow. There's no doubt about that. When you look at two, when you look at some of the up north teams, yes. but then you look at, you look at uh, you look, Nicolet. Uh, you look at Washington, you look at Bayview, you, you know, look at, you look at Milwaukee Central. Madison, uh, Lacrosse Central. Like, Division Two, hands down, is the best division in the state. Wow. I agree. East Troy. I agree. Those East Troy went to upstate last year. See, yeah, Division Two is low. It's been that way the last three years, I think. The Division Two has been stacked. And Division Three is a pretty good as well. You know, when you got, you got Greendale Martin Luther. You have uh, St. Cats. You have uh, a bunch of those schools. Walpon. Dominican. Yeah, the Kakanas and the Rippins. Three-point shot by number 10, Jalen Kelly, They're making it a five-point lead. They're this is an around. interesting point of the game, too, having long out the game. You know, now you just got two big studs now. So yes, now yes. you're going to force those guys that haven't been playing a lot of minutes, beat us. Right. Make a play. Well, the, and Mark's an and Mark's expert at it. They, but what Washington's doing is they're pulling it out, making Tulsa play man-to-man. -man. He's either going to hold it until he comes out. And that's, that's also a reminder, this is pretty much a new Washington team. They only played four games with Trey White. Uh, before Trey White, this would be long probably setting up the plays. Now yes, you got people yes. in different positions now. So this is – they're learning as they're going. Well, this team – Tosa West, they've been in these battles all season long. So they know what to do, how to do it, how, how they're going to respond. So it's good to interest and see how Washington responds with Trey White running the show. Tough move, travel call. That was a big call, big that play. A big call. That was a good call. Big call. I don't necessarily know if it was a travel. I think on the next level that may not be a travel. Yeah, but I, yeah I agree. On the high school level. Well, uh, it was a foul. It was a foul as well. He put two well. hands on him before he even got to, to his move. But Mark has been working him hard. Exactly. He has been working him hard this half. And, and now you're starting to see a couple calls go his way. And if the momentum keeps going, oh if this boy. shot goes in. Oh, that was huge. Tough. Look, they're, fighting, they're fighting. They're fighting. This is, they're fighting. Open two. 21. Alec White. Nice huge. down the shot. And we have a three-point ball game. 47-44. Seven minutes and 50 seconds remaining here in the second half. Hey, look at Mark. I told you. Well, he's been in this moment before, and so he knows what to tell his team at least. And to Milwaukee Washington yeah. won a timeout. Need him and a half, Mark. Mark. There you go. Yeah. The team is taking his demeanor. You know what I find? I, what, what, I, 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 it's funny when you listen to some people, right, when the game – when it's early in the year, you have kids and then you have parents and you have different people say different things. It's like, oh my God, that coach, he's always in these kids' grill. He's always doing it. Because what you gotta do, you gotta break them down and you gotta build, build them, them up for up. this moment. Yes. I'm building you up for this moment. I'm building you up for the opportunity to win a game that you're not supposed to win. I am in your tail every single day purposely. But when this moment, moment comes, comes and yes. you get down 10 points, you don't fold. You just keep fighting. You keep fighting. You keep fighting. And that's why guys like Mark and 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 and, and coaches like that are so hard on 
on their players early for them to get to this moment and they can be ready for it. Well, they know what it entails. They know what it's going to take. And with that being said, they prepared not just one through five, five through 14. So if you, if you can see, Mark's played actually 10 guys tonight. Yeah. But they all are on the same page and they all know what he, what he expects from them. We got a situation at the score table. Both coaches are not sure what they're talking about. Possession arrow. I think Long wants to check in, but he didn't get in before the timeout was over with. So he has to wait. You know, even as a, as a player, there's nothing like playing one and done. You know what I mean? Like, you you, Ooh, yes. you have to be locked and loaded every single practice yes. that you have. Like, everything is right. It's like, man, this can be over tomorrow. Right. And as a coach, it's the same way. You study the film harder. You prepare better. You, you know, you just, you understand as a coach as well, like, I have to be at my best in order for us to win as well. There's probably 12 uh, uh, 12 different plays he has set up for the last two minutes of the game if it's close. You know what I mean? So he like probably there. knows what personnel up. is in. I would have bagged up that time. Anytime the ball gets in someone's hand that's not used to being in the game, I'll make them for I'll force them to make a decision. Washington does a great job of going after their misses, whether it's white, whether it's long, and Foster's a monster rebound, but they don't just watch their shot go in. They, they go after it to get their own rebound. Aggressively. Uh, and that's a, that's a trait that Babe Hugh has because when you got three guys averaging 10, re, 10, 10 plus more rebounds, uh, the best rebounding team I've seen in, in years. Long goes up, gets the basket to fall. They needed that basket, 49-44, 7-10, remaining here in the second half. Washington up five. They've run the same play out of bounds the last five possessions, and they've gotten it to Long in the same spot. Alex White knocks down the big shot. That's a two. 46, that showing up now. What Tosa also is doing, they're making Mike come out and have to defend on the perimeter, taking him away from the basket, which is huge because now you, you, you lose that shot blocker in there. And that rebounder. They're getting, they're getting um, offensive rebounds, too. Being a small team, there's no way that they should get offensive rebounds. Big shot, Mike. And that was a huge offensive rebound there that, that uh, Tosa didn't come up with. Well, they got the shot that they wanted. Well, we have six minutes to go now, and everything you talked about in the beginning of the game comes to fruition now. The loose ball, the diving on the floor, the taking charges. We'll see what happens. Christian Grant at the top gets the ball over to Jalen Kelly. Kelly is working on Shanti. Screen. Kelly, under, pick and roll. Pass. Alex. Nothing. No foul. No, good D. Here comes Long. Long's pushing it up, surveying it. Foster, Foster for three in the corner. He's been uh, he's not a good shooter tonight. Got a rebound. Tonight. Let's pull it out. No way. He's going. And one. No way. Washington's scrappy. As you said, when the shot goes up, they have four people going to the glass. Seems like the balls just, just continue to pop in their hand. <laughs> And again, that was a loose ball, 50-50 ball that one of the Washington players came up with. Foster first shot up, in and out. Now, I will say this. Uh, right now, I think Mike, for the season, is only shooting close to about 60% from the free throw line. I wonder if Mark knows that. If Mark knows that, if Mark, sure Mark will end up following him. <laughs> and put him on the line. He'll rather lose with them shooting free throws than lose with them scoring down low on him. Wow, great rebound. Oh, man. Ball will stay with Washington. Just Wow. Um, I'm a referee, and I'm going to say this. He has <laughs> to let him land. You have to let a kid land. If he goes up and gets a rebound, you have to let him land. I'm not saying it was the wrong call. Again, they're running the same exact play. Step back for Long. Ooh. Same exact out of bounds play, Jose, to Long, and he scores Tough shot. Tough shot by Long. And this is when he usually steps up now for this team. He knows he's the senior. He's been through four years, and now he knows it's moments for him to step up and help this team in the clutch. White. 
Good. Oh, 21. They're, they're, in, they're singling Mike out and pulling him out every time, mm -hmm. like you said, Jose. And this kid, 21, showing up. He's hit three mid-range shots the last three times down. And this is where discipline comes in, right? Washington started off banging it inside every single possession. The last three or four possessions, they've settled for outside shots. Maybe it's fatigue. I don't know. Another runner there. This is where the discipline yes, comes in yes, right yes. now. Right now, it, somebody has to say, hey, we're getting inside every single time again. Big shot. Ten. Taylor Kelly with a nice style. Knocks down, down the down jump shot. Milwaukee, Washington up 53-50. Timeout on the court they, from Milwaukee, Washington. <laughs> and once again, we have oh, Bree. <laughs> Bree Love giving his sideline commentary, talking about the stall. Hey, and listen, with Milwaukee listen. Vince in, in, a, in a late 90s, and Jose Winston. I don't the think I, I've always wanted to talk about this, and I mean to cut Jose off. Um, when you delay the ball, we delayed, and Jose them delayed to score. They didn't delay to hold on to the ball. Only thing, a layup. If you got a layup, you can score a layup. If it wasn't a layup, don't look at the basket. With Watson and they're stalling, not looking at the basket. So I, I, t I think that tightens the kids right. up. And when it tightens them up, they make, they don't make the right play, the fundamental play. Right. Because, sorry, dude. We're okay. I'm listening. That's spot on what you said. I think uh, we stalled as a sense of an offensive play. When we huh. stalled, it was like uh, coach made us understand that. Okay, we're stalling, and we're going to take the shot we want to take. So either they're going to come out and get us, and we're going to break them right. down and get dunks and layups, right. or we're going to sit right here and we're going to win the game. They have to play your style. They have to play your style. Just like it, it's a different style. We stood at half court. There's no difference from when another team comes and passes the ball 20 right. to 25 right. times. Right. That's stalling. Right. Like they're trying to get the shot that they yeah. want. Yeah. So, I mean, it depends on how you look at it. And what happens is we don't have a shot clock, and we're not having a shot clock. When you go into a, a it's not a star, a delay, you give the ref a time to see more. When you're going up and down, they don't see everything needed to see. They need to see. Mm -hmm. But when you go into a delay, the court's wide open. Now when you make a move to the basket, it's mano y mano right in front of the ref, and he can't miss that call. But when you're going up and down, you don't give a, a ref a chance to call something because it's in traffic. Mm -hmm. They don't get to see everything when you're in traffic. But when you spread it out, you move the ball around, they get to see exactly what's going on. And I think, I think, I believe that Wisconsin is behind the times. We back, need backdoor. Nice. Kelly knocks down Milwaukee Washington's only up one, 53, 52. Four minutes remaining here right in the second he half. We have a one point, one point lead. We need a shot clock, and I'll tell you why we need a shot clock. People say, well, if you get a shot clock, then what? Because what happens is, if you take our, when we were playing, if we had a shot clock, what happens is, oh, wow. Tough shot by oh, Santi Clay Jr. Shot. And here comes. That Tosa. forces the other team to have to play defense, too. It's so not. now they can't stall either. So now we going mano y mano. Right. And it tests your skills versus you. Because some teams are, are masters at holding on to the ball and running their offense. But it's different when you have to run your offense to a, to a shot clock. Then you have to get that shot with the last five seconds. Now, speaking of star, if you're Wauwatosa West, three-point shot, no good. Do they want a star to get a one shot or the best shot for them? Uh, no, they got to they gotta try to play it by possession. Well, us sitting over here, I think that would be the best thing to do just because it's a, Washington would get a taste of what they're doing. And what will happen is Washington will lunge and then uh, Walsh right. West will get the back door, as we seen a couple seconds ago. But, again, the coach is on the sideline, the players are on the court, and they have to go by what the coach says. And if they see something different, you need to discuss it with them. Like now, Mark's actually talking to his point guard, telling him what he wants from him. And Denzel just came back in the game. So he stole about seven minutes with Denzel, who's probably been the best player on the court for Tosa mm -hmm. tonight. Um, He's just entered the game with four fouls. So now um, they'll be able to get a little bit more slash, a little bit more offensive right, rebounding right. as well. So um, this is going to be an interesting three minutes. The team that's most disciplined and the team that can probably, the team that doesn't turn it over may win this game. 54-52. Foster is able to give Washington a three-point lead with three minutes and 18 seconds remaining here in the second half. And I think going into this game, I did, 
I didn't know what to expect, but I didn't think it was going to be this close of a game coming down the stretch at, at Milwaukee, Washington. I did. I did. I, I thought it would be close simply because I know what type of coach Mark Mitchell is. And I know that when it's the playoff, that's when you really get guys uh, tuned in. And, uh, and uh, so I, I knew he would have them prepared. I didn't know how his team would react, you right. know, if they would see Foster and Trey and Long and, and not come to compete. But they came to compete. They came to compete. Only the third team follow Milwaukee, Washington. Got it. Well, this is going to be big now because uh, Washington's in the bonus and Tulsa West is not. So they Washington can be more aggressive, aggressive, more aggressive knowing that they're not going to see what I tell you. They White, be break out for White. Dunk, and that's going to ignite this to crowd. 57-52, Trey White with the two-hand slam. Yeah. Traveling called against he hasn't given Aaron. Up. He hasn't played very well tonight, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, actually, he hasn't been on the court much, huh? No, he hasn't. And I think the early foul trouble did it to him. But it, it's still time. If that kid, he can get it together yeah. in the next 40 seconds and put him in with two minutes ago, he may be a difference. He's still a possession away, but I would be running right now to get the ball out of Trey hand. Yes. I would force it to be and in somebody else's hands besides Trey Long or Foster. The other two guys going to have to make a play. Right, and that's exactly what I'll do. Trap them now and make 24, shoot the ball. He has to get closer if he wants to count. That's it. That's who I want to have it. And I'll back off yep. of him. Look, yep. he almost gave it away. Yep. Well, ball of bounds in the state with Milwaukee, Washington. And he's and a good player. It's just he that he's not the moment. You put a, put a kid under a pressure situation that he's not used to being in. Go. Now, I would trap it, get it out of his hands. I agree with you, Jose. They're in the triangle. With Long, Trey, and Mike. Swing it. Carry on. Trey thought about it, brings it back out. Oh. Long will go to the line the shooting. Bonus. Exactly one what I one. said. They're in the bonus, so anytime they get touched, they're going. And personally, I would foul Mike. After listening yeah. to Jose say it's a shooting percentage at the free throw line, it's not a knock against the kid. It's just that that's what the situation entails now. But if I'm going to foul anybody out there, it wouldn't be long right now. You know, I'm, I'm fouling either uh, Blakely, who's out there, or I'm fouling um, McKay, who's out there. Wow. But long miss, yeah, too. So we got to get downhill, and we got to get downhill quick. Jalen, Jalen okay. Kelly, working up to carry on. Thought about That's it. Big shot. Denzel. Ah. You got to go now. Well, that's the same kid we were talking about. Oh, we missed that one. White with the rebound. 57 52. 120 remaining. Tough shot. And the fouls on the floor. Now, num number 10 should raise his hand. 11 wouldn't go out. See, he's going to call it on. Oh, he called it on 10. Got two shots coming for Trey White. Denzel Knight. Thanks, Jose. I needed that. Knocks down the first free throw, 58-52. 116 remaining here in the second half. Milwaukee, Washington trying to move on to the sectional regional game on Thursday. Another missed free throw by Milwaukee Washington. He traveled. And the, he traveled. And he traveled right in front of the referee. Yes. So that was an yes. easy call. And I know that referee knows what he's talking about because he played at Marquette during the <laughs> heydays. Wow. It's a good game. They still have time for how it's been going. Long. Oh, boy. Again, out of bounds yeah. play to Long. And 
It might be four for four, five for five, but out of bounds play, and Long getting the ball and going right to the basket. Just in the second half. Abe, Abe, the quarter three-pointer. Knocks it down, 55-60. Get up. You got to go for the steal or foul if you're. Why did they, what they waiting on? Tosa, if you're West, you got to go for the foul. Foul him, foul him. He can, he got his four fouls. Foul him. There's oh no boy. shot clock, so you might no. as well foul in high school. He can. Foul Foster. Him. They're just going to let him oh, dribble the clock good. out. What's going on? 30 seconds, Washington was able to kind of run off the clock. And hey, that's what we came down. We said it would come down to execution and being alert, knowing the time clock and situation. Time clock and situation is big in any basketball game. Miss free throw. And it's wearing a double bonus. They had an opportunity. And I know um, the young man has four fouls, but and it's 45, 46 seconds. Somebody got to commit that foul. Yeah. And especially when, when um, two caught it, we got to commit that foul. Right away. Look. Miss, misses that free throw. Oh, boy. Almost a re no. almost rebound. 20 seconds left in the game. He's open. James what? Alex White hitting. knocks down Good the shot. Timeout call by Wauwatosa West. 60 57. 16 seconds remaining here. Now imagine if they would have fouled a couple uh, 30 seconds ago. They would have 46 seconds. Mm -hmm. Go for the steal. And down right. by three with 46 seconds to go. And that That's probably going to come back and haunt. If, 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 if you're talking about a perfect coaching game, that's probably one thing that's going to be on Mark's uh, question. Well, Should have fouled earlier, give you a chance. Washington has been making free throws. I have a question for you guys. Do you feel like that's Mark's fault or the kids' fault for not knowing time clock and situation? Great question. Well, they came, school, they came from a timeout. When you were in school, you would tell your teammates what to do being a point guard. Yeah, and even when I was coaching, I would be screaming over there, foul, foul, right, foul, so and they're just not fouling either. You know, that, so. It's part of the kids' fault, too. You need to know time clock and situation, and that's part of training. So you train with the clock. You train them to know what's going on, the situation, who to foul. When you're watching tape, watch their weaknesses, right. things like that. It comes into play here with the 30, 45 seconds left in the game. You know someone's weakness. That may help you steal the ball or actually get, get, to, get to the rim to score and get fouled. You never know. We got a good game here, 16 seconds. Washington's up three. I want – I want – I want – your boy, 23, to catch it. I want uh, Jonte. Jonte to catch it. I don't want Trey to catch it. Trey's a pretty good free throw shooter. Right. Um, that's either Trey. See? But, that, but that's like, okay. I, we yeah, got I, one second. Right. One second. We got to get downhill. Greer, if he has the ball, has to get downhill quickly. I would even still maybe, I would even still go for the two, regardless of what happens on this free throw uh, opportunity here. I don't think they have to get a three yet. But if the three opens up, uh, I think you go ahead and you take it. Well, I think Freddie's going to go, he's going to sub, and he's going to go small defensive-wise. wonder if that's going to help or hurt. It depends on if he makes his free throw. Ice Next water. Next time the first one. Yes, that's, that's a big, a big one. shot. I'm Six, impressed with how 61. smooth that young man is for a freshman. He has a calming demeanor to himself. He doesn't get too high. He doesn't get too low. Misses the second free throw. Offensive rebound. Downhill. Here comes oh, Abe. Hey. Oh, Abe goes up too. Got to call you timeout. <laughs> Sixty-one fifty-nine. Timeout on the floor. While we're close to West. Nine seconds quick. remaining here in the regional. It's a nice finish too. It isn't over. And that was a smart play. Actually, because they're down four. He needed the two, and now we can reset and regroup for the three-point shot at the end. That was, that was a close play by Jonte not to foul him, too. You know, that would have been huge if he would have been able to get to the free throw line. Right. And, a, and an even better finish. Yeah. That yeah. kid concentrated on that shot. Yeah. Abe has some bounce, though. I've seen him throughout the summer. That young man can get up. He can really get up. 
All right, fellas, 61-59. If you're Tosa West, you got to go for the steal. If you don't go for get the steal, you got to foul immediately. Long, you run the foul faster right away. Oh, boy. One second goes off the clock. But see, there's nobody there. there I mean, with, with, with Mike, He's a big time player. Mike, Mike will be confident enough in this moment to knock down shots, you know. You throw percentages out the window with yeah. certain guys yeah. uh, in certain situations. But they're gonna have to get somebody in there after this shot to, to box help out. Yeah. Long rebound come off, they're gonna get it. Oh, they have a double bonus. First shot is off. Wow, he shot it quick, Jose. He didn't. He didn't take a deep breath, calm himself, or anything. That didn't look. That didn't look. <laughs> now, if you're Tosa West, you have to get the and rebound. The time out when the ice the shooter. Call. This is the all-time question when you when you're in a, a tight game like this. If the score stays 61-59, Tosa West is able to get the rebound. Do you go for the tie or do you go for the win? Ah, at this level, whatever's open. Whatever's open. I was <laughs> going to say the same thing with Jose. And you know, at this point, you know what month it is. It's March. So we've seen a lot of strange right. things happen in March. It's already started to happen on the college level. So uh, if he misses this free throw and they get the ball and they're going downhill, oh boy. more than likely everybody's going to uh, dig in to try to stop the layup. If he kicks it to the right person, they knock it down. It'll be a lot of surprise people. Yeah. You know, yes, yeah, this is this a lot probably of be, surprise people. But a lot of times, if Mike makes the free throw, it at least gives you opportunity to not lose the game. You know, maybe oh, he goes in overtime. If Tosa West is able to get a good shot off and make that make that, the three-pointer. That three makes player, a gang of sense. If he hits this shot, then they have to take a three. And you can defend the line versus not knowing what to do with his two. Again, it's March Madness. You never know what's going to happen. All right, second shot, free throw attempt by Mike Foster. Eight seconds left, 61-59, Milwaukee, Washington, up two. Second shot is up, mm. looks good. It's out. Mm. Rebound. Mm, no timeout foul. left. Four oh. seconds left, uh -oh. three, two, shot. Block shot Locked by, by Foster and Long. Yeah. Uh. And Milwaukee, Washington survives at home. 61-59, big time. Oh, no timeout left. Four oh. seconds left. Uh -oh. Three, two, shot. Block Lock. shot Lock by, by Foster and Long. Yeah. Uh. And Milwaukee, Washington survives at home. Milwaukee, Washington survives 61-59. Wow, what a finish. No one, no one would have thought that this game was going to be that close. But Milwaukee, Washington, they, they did a great job. As Milwaukee, Washington will receive their regional final champion plaque, our own very Jose Winston is going to catch up with our player of the game. Um, Wonderful. And I'm not, I think he's going to go with Long for our player of the game. Jose Winston, what you got for us? And who do you got for us? It feels good to run into all my kids at the game, man. Kids that I've trained, adults. As Washington received the original plaque, uh, tough game. It was a great game. Both teams played hard. You got to tip your hats off to Wauwatosa West coming in here, uh, giving us a great game to watch. Milwaukee Washington probably needed this going forward. If you're going to have a tough game, you have it at home where it is in your favor. As they're able to get the 61-59 lead win. Wow, it's a good game, man. It was a pleasure having me.
<laughs> right. At least that's how I feel. No, it was a pleasure definitely having you. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we we want to thank you for coming on and also sharing your story with the people and letting us know exactly what you got going on. Well, we could have got more extensive. I I'll, I'll, I'll guarantee you I'll come back to visit with you. Okay. How soon, I don't know. Hey, where is uh, Dre? Dre is over here. On the court. Oh, he's working still. Yeah, he he's still alive. Okay. He's still alive. Our, this is the visual I like. You take the regional picture. Right. You, you, you have experience with right. this. <laughs> and it really doesn't mean anything because you have two more games to play. You have to win the sectionals. And definitely for teams like Milwaukee, Washington, King, Vincent, this is not what, this is not what you celebrate for. It's, it's gold balls or going to state. Right. Uh, for teams who probably maybe a Juno or a, 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 you know, teams that don't have custody of the history of making it to state, Regionals is huge. When you're as popular as Jose Winston, you're probably talking to so many people in the crowds. Yeah. Um, so you're probably talking to so many people in the crowds. We're going to find out who our player of the game is. I'm figuring it's... Wonderful. You already know. Hey, lady. Wow. It's hard not to speak when you ain't seen, you haven't seen half the people around you in a while. This is a good game for us to have you come back to your old stomping grounds and uh, help see your team move on to the next level where they're going to face a tough uh, either Milwaukee Lutheran team or a or a Wisconsin Lutheran team. Um, well, Craig, I'm you know if I if if I'm around, I'm with you. You can call me at any time. We appreciate that. And, we're still alive in the tournament now, so right. you, it, my schedule's hard. <laughs> All right. And that's Brian and Stratton. You guys have a game tomorrow. Um, Sunday, who are you guys taking on? What uh, time is that game? Wabanese. We play Wabanese in um, Wabanese, Illinois, 6 o'clock tomorrow. And those games, you can actually watch li live stream too, Brian and Stratton. If you go to, I think it's your YouTube page, I'm not sure. But you can go to Brian and Stratton website and they'll show yes. you how to watch those games live. Every game is, is streamed Dream. out. So please watch us. So many great uh, Washington alumni walking around celebrating this glorious yes. victory. Um, Dante Holmes, one of my co athlete, athletic. I'm jumping for my dreams. I'm jumping for my dreams. The athlete. The athlete. The athlete. The athlete. The athlete.